everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jennifer. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at the new Chanel lipsticks. Now, these lipsticks are the Rouge Allure L'Extre, L'Extre, I think it's spelled, I think it's pronounced Extre, and then there's an L in front. So L'Extre could be, yeah, I'm, I'm doing my best. Um, so I picked this up in five different shades. There are a number of shades that are limited edition. I will put the limited edition numbers down below. You can order these online or you can get them from your Chanel SA. I believe these, I've now forgotten, but I, I think these are in stores, are gonna be in stores. The La Blanc collection that's coming out will not be in stores. Um, I do have a date for when that's supposed to launch, but here's the thing. That's the one with the Camellia powder. You've seen it all over, it's all, it's all over social media. Um, I don't, I don't ever want to put anyone in a uncomfortable position. Like they've told me something and then I tell all of you and then, you know, they get in trouble for something. So my understanding, all I'm going to say is that the LeBlanc collection is supposed to come out mid month now here in the United States. Obviously it's overseas already and people have been using it and seeing and trying it out and everything. The quad looks to be very light. Uh, the highlighters kind of look a little bit interesting to me, the highlighter pens. Um, cause I like those for like inner corner eye stuff. Um, and the lips look like right up my alley. Like they look like the colors that I'd want. So I'm interested in those. Um, the Camellia powder, I've already done a review for all of you and it is beautiful. It's, it's stunning. Um, if it, if it's online and I think it's, it should be online. Um, I'm going to guess it goes fast. And again, look, if you haven't watched me before, you won't know this. I am the last person to tell you to go buy to go buy makeup. We all have enough makeup. I have more than enough makeup. Um, but if that's something that you really want, it my understanding is it's limited edition and it it, it came out in like that was 2017, 2018. Uh, I don't know if it's the same formula. I don't I doubt it is, but um and then it was gone. And I think with all the supply chain issues now, I just I think it's going to be around for long. And so I just want to tell you all that because I don't want anyone to be like, you know, you didn't, you didn't mention that in your video. So I just want to be honest and let you all know that I think it's going to go quickly. All right. So let's take a look at these lipsticks. Now, the couple things that I'll say just off the top, they are refillable, which is very cool. Um, I don't remember Chanel. I don't remember Chanel having a refillable lipstick. I'm, I'm really trying to think way back in the day. I don't remember a Chanel uh, refillable lipstick. Somebody out there is going to tell me I'm wrong and that's totally cool. Um, let me know what it was, why I don't remember it. Because I'm getting old, I don't know. Um, so anyway, it says you can now reduce your carbon footprint and waste by refilling your product um, at, at your preferred Chanel fragrance beauty boutique or on Chanel.com. Uh, as I said, some are limited edition, so they won't be there. Um, and many of the ones that I picked up are limited edition because I actually, because I like the shades. There are two limited edition ones that I did not pick up because I just, I don't, I don't think I'd wear them. Um, I'll have to look and see when other people like start posting. Um, if, uh, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I like them. Maybe I'll be able to go into a store and take a look. They say this is a high intensity lip color, concentrated radiance and care. Interesting. Uh, a refill compatible with Rouge Allure Lustre. Long wearing satin lipstick, an ultra high concentration of pigments reveals incomparable shade. I just love people. The people who write this stuff are geniuses. Uh, shade intensity, uh, intensity upon first application that lasts for up to eight hours. That's impressive. Formula offers up to 12 hours of hydration, up to 10 hours of protection and all day comfort. Thanks to nourishing waxes and um flower extract, which form a deeply moisturizing complex. I don't know what an um flower is, U-M-E. I'm gonna have to look that up. Uh, a combination of powders and plant-derived oil chosen for a strong light reflecting powers delivers in infinitely luminous color. That is absolutely true. I tried it on my arm earlier. I put swatches on Instagram. It's luminous, like very much so. The distinctive thin shape of lipstick allows for ultra precise application in a single swipe. All the signature Rouge Allure click case reinvented to a, a sleek format. I, like I said, I tried on my, they are really luminescent. They are beautiful. I mean, I. They really are, they're, re they're really nice. Uh, I'm gonna swatch them again on my arm, but I'm also gonna put them on my lips so you guys can see. I just wanna show you what the regular case looks like. Um, this is a Chanel pop top. There's also um, 
Uh, where did I put my where did I put my comment ones? I have them here somewhere. Here we go. Well, no, that's a rose one. That's a camellia one. Yeah, I got like too many lipsticks here, guys. There's here. Well, here's a lion. It doesn't really matter. Uh, the point is, they have different pop tops, and so there are like different images on the top. They pop up like this. I've always liked this um, design because I just think it's easy. And so it pops open, you have your lipstick, okay? The difference in size, I think, is pretty clear, right? It's a much thinner lip. And you have the much different, you don't have a bullet, you have this like thin lip. What I will say is, yes, it is less product. Um, it's uh, 0.07 ounces. I'll have to put down below what a normal lipstick is because I'll be honest, I don't know off the top of my head. Um, but it's, it's, def it's definitely more. And I actually like it. Now, I'm gonna explain why. Yeah, it's still, I mean, it's a lot of money. So these are $40 a piece. That's not inexpensive. Um, but of course, nothing Chanel does is inexpensive because it's Chanel. Uh, but I'd say this, I prefer to have, I prefer to have a lipstick that I can actually get through and I will use this and it won't go bad and it will be a precise application on my lip. That's me. I also understand the people who feel that they're getting less for the money they spend. Totally respect that perspective as well. Um, okay, so let's do this in order of shade. Okay, and then one other thing to mention, they are an 18 month shelf life. Um, and I notice when I'm looking at these now, now I, it's, it's, I've had a long day and maybe I'm missing it, but I don't see the number on the packaging, which actually makes some sense if the packaging is refillable. So in other words, you could put whatever you want in it. So where is, is it on the bullet? Let's look, yes, it's on the bullet. Okay, so these are recy uh, recyclable, these are refillable, right? Here's how it goes. Yeah, I have to pull a little bit, but it snaps into place, which is fine. But on this, unlike the um, other pop tops, Underneath the pop top on the bottom of the lipstick, you could see a number. I don't know if that's gonna focus because my, my thing is being weird. I think it's there. Yeah, okay. So there's a number there and it says 107. So I know that's shade 107. These don't have that. On the, on the packaging side that tells you like what's in here, it doesn't give a number. So you won't know the number uh, I'm just double checking one more time with my magnifying glass because maybe I'm missing something because the packaging is refillable. So the number of the lipstick, and this hat, like La Bouche Rouge has this too. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick this up, but it's on the side. You see it right there? There we go. That's where it shows you the shade. So, <laughs> For those of us who have like a zillion lipsticks, that's gonna be interesting because you won't know. You're gonna to have to, you're gonna to have to look at the side of the lipstick to know what shade it is. Interesting. Okay, I'll be honest, I don't know if I love that. I understand it. I totally understand it, but I don't know if I love it. That's just me. Okay. All right, so let's take a look at the shades because I think that's the most important thing. Okay, so let's start. I have 812, 814, 848, 862, and 872. We'll do 812 first. I will, as I said, um, put these on my lips. But let's put them on my arm first. And I will um, let you know which ones are limited edition down below, as I hopefully I did before. 812 is Beige Brute. 814 is Beige Imperio, Imperio, sorry, Imperio. Uh, 848 is Coral Sanguine, 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 Sanguine. Although it doesn't have any on the end. Uh, this is 848. 
that's going to be a great shade for summer. Um, 862 is Brun Affirm. Wonderful fall shade. I mean, you can wear these shades anytime, but this is how my, you know, my brain immediately goes to. Um, and 872 Rouge Ascendant, which is the deepest and coolest one that I have. Now, my, if I remember correctly, I think this one, 812, is, let me just look it up. Okay, so the limited edition ones are 814, I'm sorry, 814, Beige Imperio, 848, which is the Coral, 852, which I do not have, 872, which is this one here, I'm sorry, yeah, no, it's this one here, 872, which is um, Rouge Ascendant, and then 878, which is prune something, uh, but it's a very, very deep, it's like a purpler version of this, like it's, it's pretty deep. Um, so I have three of the limited, I have three of the five limited edition shades. The other ones should be permanent, you should be able to pick them up at all times. I like all these shades, I will say they are warmer leaning, especially this one, this one and this one. Um, this first one, the Beige Brute has like, it's more like a pinky brown, which will probably be my favorite, but I have to say, just looking at the swatches, this one is the one that calls to me because it's like the color of my hair. So I, you know, that one's gonna probably be the one I love, but this will probably be the one I wear the most. I'm just gonna be honest, probably this one, uh, but we'll find out. So let's start with the lip swatches. Let's start with A12. This is Beige Brute. Perfect everyday kind of shade for me. Next is, ba is 814 Beige Imperio. A little deeper than 812 and much peachier in tone. Next is Corel, C-O-R-A-I-L, so I'm sure it's pronounced differently, uh, Sanguine. A stunning bright coral. Next we have 862 Brune Affirm. This is pretty much the perfect brick red. And last but not least, 872 Rouge Ascendant. This is a very deep, I'd say burgundy, um, beautiful in tone but it is a very deep shade if you're pale like I am. So I blotted 872 a little bit, the last shade, because it is very, very deep. It's not that I don't like it, but I don't have any bronzer on my skin today, and because I don't, I, I look as pale as I am. And so in contrast, it's pretty stark. But um, I know many people who really like that look or looking for that super deep lip, and this is it. These lipsticks go on perfectly smoothly, no dryness, right, one swipe. They're the perfect size for just like, for my lips anyway, like one, like I don't have to worry about it because it's just right in within the lip line. They're beautiful, they're luminescent. I love them. They have an 18 month shelf life. As I said in the beginning, I like the smaller size. I understand, you know, they're expensive for what they are. Um, so there is that, you know, about getting less, but for me, I, I liked it for the reasons that I mentioned earlier. Um, yeah, I think they're extremely good. And how they rack up against a satin and a uh, matte, velvet, all those other things um, in Chanel, I will have for you. I'm gonna start doing some comparisons of what the lip product is really like in comparison to other Chanel lip formulas. I'll do a whole video on all the various Chanel lip formulas and where this fits in. But I wanted you to see the shades um, early so that if you were interested and confused about what to pick out, you'd have this to refer to. So I hope it helps. Thanks so much for joining me today, guys. I really do appreciate it. And I hope to see you in another video really soon. Bye.